Dear students, thank you for tuning in. This lesson is for English 808 for Technical and Vocational Schools. It is Unit 8, Lesson 2, Reported Speech, Statements and Imperatives. In order for you to do the lesson well, you need the following. Number one, Project Success 2, Students Book. Number two, a notebook or a piece of paper. Three, a pen or a pencil. Number four, a dictionary. All right, lesson objectives. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to use the reported speech in writing sentences. So what is a reported speech? So let me give you a sentence. She, comma, quotation mark, this, the sink is clogged up, quotation mark. Now, it is missing something. It is missing said, which is repeated. He, her, to turn off the water. You need reported speech. Told. The coach that the team was ready. You need a reported speech. The coach said that the team was ready. Now, reported speech is how we represent the speech of other people or what we ourselves say. It is consisted of direct speech and indirect speech. Reported speech, like said, told, said. Let me explain it even further. So, what is a reported speech? It is how we represent the speech of other people or what we ourselves say. It, it is consisted of direct speech and indirect speech. This is direct speech, okay? She said, comma, quotation mark, the car is red, quotation mark. Indirect speech, she said that the car was red. So this is direct and this is indirect. The quotation marks means that this is the exact words that she said, okay? And I put quotation marks between them, okay? And then I said indirect, well, I'm reporting to her. I said, she said that the car was red. What I added, I removed the, the uh, comma and quotation marks and I added that. And I also changed is, you see? The car is red. The car was red. So I had, I had to back shift the verb. And as you see, this is in the present simple and was in, in the past simple, okay? All right, forming direct speech statements. We start with the reporting clause and then end with the reported clause. So I say, Ali said, comma, quotation mark, the book is good, end it with a quotation mark. Okay, another example. The man told me, comma, quotation mark, the man can, the mall can be closed, quotation mark. The nurse said, comma, quotation mark, the visits are over, quotation mark. The lady told us, comma, quotation mark, I graduated. This is her exact words, quotation mark. As you see, I started with the reporting clause, which is Ali said, okay? And then the reported clause, the book is good. All right, now we check the other. Form an indirect speech statements. So we start with the reporting clause instead of the reported clause. And then that, which is optional, and then reported close. That means we have squished. So let's start. Ali said that the book was good, was good. I back shifted the verb is. The man told me that, which is optional, the mall could be closed. I back shifted can. The nurse said that the visits were over. So I backshifted R. The lady told us 
that she had graduated. The first sentence was, I graduated. That was in the past simple. Had graduated is in the past uh, perfect. So, you see, if I remove the optional that, it does not change the meaning. Ali said the book was good. The man told me the mall could be closed. The nurse said the visits were over. The lady told us she had graduated. Reported speech statements back shift. So, from the direct speech, we're going to move to the indirect speech. Okay? If we have a present simple, I change it. I back shift it to the past simple. If I have a present continuous, I back shift it to past continuous. If I have a past simple, I back shift it to past perfect. Present perfect, again, to the past perfect. Past continuous, past perfect continuous. Task number one. Fill in the gaps in the following. And you have a mark of three. Number one, the doctor said, and you have a gap. You should, you should rest today. So what is missing in this? Have five quick seconds to answer it. All right, let's check the answer. The answer is comma and quotation mark. They are very important to form the reported speech. The man, gap, him, his car was parked over there. So what do you add in here? So let's check the answer. The answer is told him, told him. You cannot say said him. You, you have to say told him. All right, three. Huda, gap, comma, quotation. I need a cup of coffee now, quotation. What is missing? All right, let's check the answer. The answer is said. Who just said, comma, quotation. All right, give yourself a mark of three and let's carry on. Form and direct speech imperatives. Now imperatives that are different to statements. Let's see the examples. So you start with the reporting close plus reported close. Ali said, comma, quotation, take the book, take the book. Quotation. Now, take the book, if you start with the verb, it, it, it is uh, like an order. If you say to, uh, if you tell somebody, take your book, it, it feels like an order, and it is an imperative. Let's check another example. The man told me, comma, quotation, don't go to the mall. Don't go to the mall. End of quotation. The nurse said, comma, quotation, leave right away, leave right away, quotation. The lady told us, comma, quotation, wish me luck, end of quotation. So if you start with a verb, it is imperative. If you'd like to use in the negative, you have to start with the auxiliary do or don't. All right, now we go to the indirect speech. Now, forming the indirect speech using imperatives, you start with the reporting clause plus a preposition, it is to, plus reported clause. You start with Ali, said, to. Now, you have to use the imperative to. And then, take the book, take the book. Ali said to take the book. The man told me not to. Now, in order for you to use the negative, you have to use not before the preposition to. The man told me not to go to the mall. The nurse asked me to leave right away, leave right away. The lady told us to 
wish her luck, wish her luck. Now, what is changed between the imperatives and the statements? In the imperative reported speech sentences, you do not backshift the verbs because they come in the imperative. And because in the indirect speech, we have to use a preposition to, what comes after to is an infinitive. You do not change the verb. So they stay the same. If you notice that wish her luck in the previous sentence, it was wish me luck. So you have to change some of the pronouns, like her. Instead of wish me, you say wish her luck, because report, you are reported to the lady. Task number two. Question, write T if the sentence is correct or F if it's false. And you have a mark of three. Number one, she told me not to worry. If it's correct, circle T. If it's wrong, circle F. You have five seconds. Okay, let's check the answer. The answer is false. Why is that? She told me, she told me, don't worry. Don't worry. You do not report like that. You do not say not to worry. Use that in indirect speech, but not in direct speech. In direct speech, you say the exact words that she said. She told me, don't worry, like that. Number two, father said, take the pen, comma, please. What do you think? Okay, let's check the answer. The answer is false again. Why is that? Father asked me to take the pen. You do not say said take. It's wrong. You say ask me to take the pen. Ask me to take the pen to make it indirect speech. Three, they told him to wash his hands. Is it true or is it false? Okay, let's check the answer. The answer is false yet again. Why is that? They told him, wash your hands, wash your hands. Okay, as just like before, instead of his, the pronoun changed into your. And instead of to wash, you have to use the imperative, wash. All right, give yourself a mark of three and let's carry on. Task number three. In your notebooks, Answer the following. A, complete the sentences with the correct words. And you have a mark of six. Number one, Lena said our kitchen sink is clogged up. Lena said that their kitchen sink gap clogged up. So what is the answer? The answer is was. I backshifted is into was. All right. Now. You have three minutes to do the following. Number two, Maher told Lena, your landlord sounds awful. Maher told Lena that, gap, landlord, gap, awful. Three, Maher told her, you have rights. Maher told her, you have to make it into indirect speech. She said, I don't want to complain. She said, you have to change that into indirect speech. And you have three minutes.
All right, now let's check the answer. Number two, her sounded. So the first gap is her, the second gap is sounded. Three, and optional that, she had rights. Number four, and optional that, she didn't want to complain. Now give yourself a mark of six and let's carry on. Two marks for each. Task number four. In your notebooks, answer the following. B, question. Rewrite the sentences reusing reported speech like the example below. And you have a mark of eight. Number one, pay attention, tell. You have to use tell to make uh, reported speech. He told me to pay attention. He told me to pay attention. Now, look at the examples. Uh, Pour water into the drain, you have to use tell. Three, put a cover over the sink, you have to use say. Four, don't throw tissue into the toilet, you have to use tell. Call me as soon as you have a problem, you have to use ask. You have three minutes to answer this. All right, now let's check the answer. But before you do that, you have to use the self-correcting tools. After you, you have finished, make sure you have in all of your sentences the following. Number one, a capitalized first letter. Number two, a full stop. Number three, no spelling mistakes by checking every word using a dictionary. Number four, no grammatical errors by reviewing the lesson. Now let's check the 
the model answers for question B. First one, he told me to pour water into the drain. Three, he said to put a cover, a cover over the sink. He told me to throw tissue into the toilet. Five, he asked me to call him as soon as I had a problem. Now give yourself a mark of eight and let's carry on. Well done. Give yourself a tap on the back for finishing the lesson, then calculate your final mark. Now you are able to use reported speech in writing sentences. Now correct yourself out of eight. If you have 100% correct answers, that means 20 marks, then you can proceed to the next lesson. If you have 75% or lower than that, that means 15 marks, 75% uh, or above, that means 15 marks or more, then go over the part you failed in and redo that. If you have 75% or lower than that, that means 15 marks, then redo the whole lesson. As always, practice makes perfect. Good luck and thank you for your attention.